In this video, we will understand about purchase inventory model with instantaneous replenishment without shortages. So instantaneous replenishment means you need not require any lead time to procure the material. Uh, as soon as you place the order, the same day you will be able to get it. Without shortages means uh, since it is immediately uh, obtainable or immediately you can able to replenish the stocks, there is no possibility of shortages at all in this model. So in this inventory model, orders of equal size are placed at periodical intervals. Some assumptions considered in this model is the items against an order are replenished instantaneously and the items are consumed at a constant rate. Suppose uh, your rate of consumption is, uh, let us say, 1000 units per annum, then uh, every day, if I consider every day, the consumption will be 1000 divided by 365. If I consider every month, then it will be 1000 divided by 12, like that. The purchase price per unit is same irrespective of the order size. Some of the notations what are used in this model is capital D, which is annual demand in units, capital Q, order quantity, Q star, I mean, it is the optimal order quantity. We put a star for that, or you can also call it as economical order quantity. <coughs> CO is cost of ordering per order. CC is cost of carrying per unit per annum. Capital P is the purchase price per unit of the item to be ordered. In case, if this carrying cost is unknown, then it is calculated as CC equal to P multiplied by I, where I is the interest rate or the capital cost expressed in terms of decimal per annum. P is the purchase price. This will be the um, model's graph for this means you place a, a quantity ordered like let us say I place for Q then uh, we consume in the time period this is let us say T this is also T. So the maximum inventory can be Q and the least inventory can be zero. So it will it keep on going like that because the consumption is constant over a period of time. Now the total cost will be the purchase cost per annum plus cost of ordering per annum plus carrying cost per annum. So purchase cost per annum can be calculated as the annual demand in units multiplied by purchase price per unit. Cost of ordering per annum can be calculated as number of orders per annum multiplied by ordering cost per order. Carrying cost per annum will be average inventory multiplied by carrying cost per unit per year. So uh, the total cost, I mean annual demand, we know it is capital D. Purchase price per unit is P. Number of orders, since your yearly demand is, uh, quantity demanded is D, and you are going to place order for Q units every time when you place order, the number of orders will be T by Q multiplied by the ordering cost per order, which is CO. Average inventory, since the maximum inventory is Q and minimum inventory is zero, the average will be Q plus zero divided by two, which is Q by two times carrying cost per unit, per year, per unit. Now, uh, in order to find the uh, economic order quantity, we can minimize this uh, total cost to minimize total cost with respect to Q. That is differentiating that is differentiating TC with respect to Q. We will have so if I differentiate partially, we will be doing differentiate uh, to, to TC divided by to Q will be D into P. Both are not having any Q involved in it. So I'll just put zero here. Uh, this is D Q inverse C naught. So I will write D C naught. And if I differentiate Q inverse, it is minus one times Q to the power of minus two plus cc by 2 and if I differentiate q it is 1. The first derivative is equated to 0 which means we will have cc divided by 2 will be 
I mean, this negative term will be taken to the other side. It will become positive. So D, C, O. Uh, and then Q to the power of minus 2. If I bring it to the denominator, it will become Q square. So we will have now Q square will be, which means Q square will be 2 times D, C, O divided by C, C. That means our Q will be square root of this and since when we take square root it will be plus or minus but here since it is a quantity it will not take any negative value we will simply put square root of 2 d c o by c c now in order to check whether this is optimal or not we need to check whether the with this quantity whatever we arrived at if we Substitute in the total cost, whether that total cost will be the least or not, which means we are supposed to differentiate this once again with respect to Q. That means the second order partial derivative, second order partial derivative, we need to find. Uh, that will give us, if we look into here, it is minus DC naught or DC O times now, q to the power of minus 2 will be minus 2 q to the power of minus 3. Next term do not have any q at all. So, we can ignore that. This will give us minus into minus it becomes plus. So, 2 times d c o divided by that the q power minus 3 can be written in the denominator as q cube. Now, this we know it is positive. That means this Q cube also will be positive. D is positive. C O is positive. 2 is also positive. That means this entire thing is greater than 0. Which means we can, sorry, he should we should write here. D, uh, second derivative, we will write like this. That means we can conclude that T C is at its minimum, at its minimum, when Q is equal to 2DCO divided by CC. That means this becomes our optimal order quantity. I am putting a star over there because it is optimal and we call that as economic order quantity. So, so based on this derivation, we wrote it here, economic order quantity EOQ is Q star, which is square root of 2 DCO divided by CC. Number of orders per year is D by Q star, because we know that already we wrote it here. Instead of Q, I am replacing it with Q star, because we are going to put that optimal value here. Similarly, time between two successive orders will be Q star divided by D. We already know average inventory is Q by 2, so I am just replacing Q with Q star. Similarly, cost of ordering per year will be this. Already we wrote that. Everywhere we are replacing Q with Q star. That's all. So these are the optimal values for this particular model. Now we will see some numerical examples which we will solve it. The first question, uh, Aditya industry needs 5,400 units per year of an item. That means our annual demand annual demand will be 5,400 units. Then the ordering cost is given as 250 per order. So our notation, what we are using for ordering cost is CO, that is rupees 250 per order. Then the carrying cost is given as rupees 30 per unit per annum. We need to find out the economic order quantity, the number of orders per year and the time between successive orders. So, first of all, economic order quantity, EOQ, we already saw the formula which is square root of 2 D C O divided by C C. Let us substitute that. It is 2 times 5400 multiplied by 250 divided by 30. So, if we calculate this, we get 2 multiplied by 5400 into 250 divided by 30 and then take a square root of it. 
we will get 300 as the economic order quantity, which is nothing but our Q star. Then next is to find out the number of orders per year. Number of orders per annum will be D divided by Q star. D is given in the question as 5400 divided by 300. We will get 18 orders per annum. Then time between two successive orders. It will be the reciprocal of the above, which is Q star divided by D. And that will give us 1 by 18. And let us see what is 1 by 18. 1 divided by 18 will give us 0 0.0. 5, 6 approximately and uh, since this is in terms of year, we will convert it into days by multiplying it with the 365, we will get approximately 20 days. That is the time between two successive orders. Let us proceed with the next question. Uh, question says, a purchase manager currently follows economic order quantity policy of ordering an item for his company. The annual demand of the item is 1600 units. Carrying cost is 40% of the unit cost, where the unit cost is rupees 400. The ordering cost is rupees 500 per order. Recently, the vendor supplying that item gives a discount of rupees, sorry, discount of 10% in its unit cost if the order size is minimum of 500 units. Check whether the discount offer can be considered by the purchase manager. So in order to check whether the discount can be accepted and proceeded with that or not, we need to calculate the total cost both for uh, based on this EOQ policy, whatever may be the economic order quantity using that quantity, what is the total cost working out? And then after considering the discount which the vendor is planning to give, we will consider that total cost also and in case if the discounted offers total cost, if it is lesser than the EOQ's total cost, then we can go for accepting the discount offer. We'll calculate accordingly. That means first we need to find out the uh, economic order quantity. Given annual demand, that is D is given as 1600. Carrying cost is given as 40% of the unit cost. 40% times price and then price is given as rupees 400. That means this will be uh, 0.4 times, 40% is 0.4 times 400, which will give us uh, 160. That will become the price. I'm sorry, that will become the carrying cost. And then ordering cost, CO is given as 500. So based on this, let us calculate uh, economic order quantity will be Q star and we know the formula is 2 times DCO by CC. So, so it is square root of 2 times 1600 multiplied by 500 divided by 160. This goes 10 times. So this is 20 into 500, 20 into 500 is 10,000, square root of 10,000 is 100. So I'll say 100 units. Now, uh, how do we calculate total cost? Uh, total cost, if the quantity is your EOQ, what will be the total cost? We will have uh, the annual uh, cost, purchasing cost, which is D times P plus uh, ordering total ordering cost per annum which is uh, d divided by q that is number of orders times co plus the average inventory which is q by 2 everywhere this q will be replaced with the q star now because we are calculating the total cost for the uh, economic order quantity times cc so this will give us 1600 multiplied by price price is 400 plus 1600 divided by 100 
times CO which is 500 plus Q star which is 100 divided by 2 multiplied by CC which is 160. Now let us calculate this TC that is total cost when Q is the optimal order quantity will be 16 into 4 64 and then 4 zeros we are adding plus this goes with this 16 times 16 into 5 is 80 and then 2 zeros plus uh, this is this goes with this 50 times 16 into 5 is 80 and then 2 zeros so that is also 8000 so we will have now 64 0 triple 0 plus this is 16 triple 0 now if we add we will get rupees 656 triple 0 that is the total cost based on the economic order quantity now let us consider the discounted offer First of all, what will be the price? They say 10% discount will be allowed on the price, which means price is already given as 400 minus of 400 times 10%. So 400 times 0.1, which means we will have 400 times 1 minus 0.1, which will work out to 0.9. That is equal to uh, 360. That is the price. Now, uh, the quantity minimum to be ordered is 500 units, which means Q is given as 500. So, based on this, let us calculate the total cost. Total cost when Q is equal to 500 will be annual demand. Annual demand is 1600 multiplied by the price. Price is 360 plus D divided by Q, that is annual demand divided by this 500 multiplied by CO, ordering cost. Ordering cost is 500 and then plus quantity, that is 500 divided by 2, that is average inventory multiplied by carrying cost. Carrying cost, here it is the price, that is 360 now. Uh, multiplied by 40% because we, we considered here 400 into 40%. Now it should be 316 to 40%. That will be the carrying cost. So if we, if we go through that, we will have 144 as the carrying cost. So let us put it over there, multiplied by 144. Now let us calculate the total cost for this quantity. Total cost when Q takes the value 500 will be 1600 into 360. We get 57600 plus this and this gets cancelled. It is simply 1600. Now this is 250. So 250 multiplied by 144. We have 36,000. Now let us add this 36,000 plus 1600 plus 576000. We get uh, rupees 613600. So now let us compare these two costs. We may notice that this cost is larger than this cost. So I can sense, I will rate, say conclusion. Since total cost under the discount offer, under the discount offer is lesser than total cost under EOQ policy, the manager can, the manager can accept the discount offer accept the discount offer so that will be the solution for this particular problem